The rate at which Super Mario 3D World tosses new and inventive ideas at you is staggering in the best possible way. Not since Super Mario Galaxy back in 2007 has Nintendo showcased its creativity in such a fantastic manner. For instance, take Ant Trooper Hill. The stage is swarming with bugs both large and small, each marching along a specific set path. In this brief challenge, you'll find yourself destroying a line of ants and leaping straight into their hill and bouncing on a gigantic insect in order to make it across a bed of spikes. It also showcases the game's signature cat suit by hiding plenty of secrets high above the main road, requiring you to scurry up specific walls. And then there's Beat Block Skyway, one of the stages that lovingly pulls inspiration from Super Mario Galaxy by having blue and red platforms that continually switch back and forth from being solid to transparent. This was one of the few early levels that had enough bite to actually force me to retry it a couple times. Having to coordinate my jumping rhythm with that of the oscillating platforms using visual and audio cues provided a lovely bit of challenge, and I hope to see that continue in later stages. Far removed from both of these levels is Pipeline Lagoon, a beautiful and serene environment that showcases 3D World's gorgeous art direction from the get-go. Take a look at this opening area and see for yourself. From there, you'll go deep sea diving, blast past the sunken ship, and avoid all sorts of nautical critters on your way back to dry land. The other surprising thing about these three very different stages is how each one's tone changes dramatically depending on how many players you go in with. Tackling each map solo provides a slower, more methodical platforming experience akin to Mario's classic 3D adventures. Two players can still enter a level and have the same nostalgic feeling, but with a slight touch of buddy cop shenanigans that are bound to arise. But having four players scurrying up walls or multiplying with double cherries, all in the name of earning the most points by being the first to reach the top of a flagpole? Well, that particular brand of chaos is wholly unique to Super Mario 3D World, and provides some of the most entertaining competitive co-op I've played in quite some time. No matter how many players are hopping through each level, traversal from one point in the world to another is handled mostly via transparent pipes, which act as proxies for Super Mario Galaxy's celestial cannon blasts. This gives each stage the illusion of size, even though most of the levels are relatively bite-sized and will only take platforming veterans a couple of minutes to finish. But rest assured that finding each stage's green stars and stamps will require quite a bit of replaying. Though the catsuit has been at the front and center of marketing, those cute and mighty effective feline costumes only scratch the surface of Mario's new bag of tricks. I absolutely love how often 3D World is willing to toss strange new ideas at you with the confidence to let them stand on their own. While it still might not be the massive, exploration-based platformer I've wanted since 64 and Sunshine, rest assured that Super Mario 3D World is the most creative game in the series since Mario took a trip to space back in 2007. For the full review of Super Mario 3D World, make sure you're coming back to IGN.